and gentlemen boys and girls we are back for our math video series today we're going to focus on fractions so this is part one we're going to talk about what a fraction is a fraction is a part of a whole so an example would be you have a brownie that you're going to share one brownie and there are two people I'm going to share the brownie with. How much would each person get? Mm -hmm. Well, person one would get this brownie. Mm -hmm. Person two would get this brownie. Mm -hmm. And each person would get one out of two pieces. So we write that as one over two. Or one half. Part over the whole. Two parts make up the whole. One part goes to one person. One part goes to the other person. If there were four people, I would cut it into four equal pieces. And each person would get one out of four. And that's the same as one fourth. Fractions are also numbers. So when you learn to count, you count it by ones. One, two, three, four. But fractions are also, like I said, parts of a whole. So let's say I wanted to count by fractions. I could do that. Let's count by halves. So here's my starting point. Zero. If I count by a half, that's one half. I count by another half, that's two halves. But that's one whole. Just like we saw up here. So I could write one. Then I count by another half. That's three halves, or one and one half. I count by another half, that's four halves, that's two. And I can keep going on like that. So fractions can be expressed as parts of a whole or numbers. So in part two, we're going to talk about adding fractions, how it works. And what do you do if you have two fractions that have different parts? Also, one thing I forgot to mention, the numbers on the top and the numbers on the bottom have names. This is called, the, the top number is called the numerator, and the bottom number is called the denominator. And the best way for me to remember that is the bottom number is down, so denominator, down. So, this is just a brief introduction to fractions. Stay tuned for part two.